Assalamu alaikum. Um, my question revolves around the hyper acceptance in our current society and the standards that neoliberalism neoliberal, has in terms of clumping us with other agendas and then having those neoliberals start talking about things like Mehsa Amini and Iran and them using hijab and saying it's basically like a weaponization and it's a form of oppression. So how do our young ones kind of reconcile the fact that these neoliberals want them to feel like they're welcomed, but then they have to welcome everybody, but then all of a sudden are blackballed because of things that are happening in other parts of the world that have nothing to do with, you know, the commandment of hijab in our faith. So I probably am not the best person to address this. I am, you know, but in terms of, I think the question was, how do we help our youth recognize? it To reconcile, reconcile. the fact that, you know, there's the far left, right? Mm -hmm. And how they want to welcome everybody and everyone's welcome. And you see those posters everywhere. Gotcha. Except yeah. for where women wearing hijab because of things like Mehsa Amini, who unfortunately was, yeah. you know, executed or, or killed because she was not wearing hijab. And then the far left saying, let's burn all the hijabs. And then you see the thing that you're wearing as like a form of oppression, even though you yourself are not participating in whatever their yeah, outcries yeah, are about. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of extremism in our, in our community, right? In our cultures, right? We go from one end to another end very quickly. And part of the issue is learning and understanding what our own extremisms are within us. What, how do we, how do we reconcile with, okay, if we see this happen, is it logical? Asking ourselves these questions, gaining insight into, okay, if one person was persecuted because of this, does that mean that the entire, the, the entire, you know, symbol needs to be persecuted? This is, you know, unfortunately, media, news, all, they don't share the entirety of the story. They don't share all of that. It's based off of people's feelings and emotions and thoughts and desires. It comes right back to how we are interpreting that, how much do we know of it, and how much are we giving into it? How much are we giving into that? And part of the, you know, Part of the struggle in today's generation of youth is that is to recognize what our desires are. Recognize what is it that we want and how is it being projected onto the projected out into the society and how they are using that against our youth. This idea that we have to be free. What's the definition of freedom? That's what everybody has to ask themselves. What is your definition of freedom? Is it this? Is it going to this extreme because somebody was persecuted unlawfully that you're going to go ahead and just do this? Is that what is that what we are teaching ourselves? Or do we look at it from a different point of view that hey, okay, something bad happened here. This is wrong. But why are we labeling everything with it? So that's sort of my thoughts about it. I apologize. I may not have answered that as justly as possible, but I think we do need to, as parents, really talk about these with our youth. I mean, it's not just, all right, you got to do this, and this is how it's done, or this is wrong. We have to explain, and we have to start talking about who Allah is and what this religion is about. You know, we come from generations that we get t we had told certain, you know, definitions of our deen and we don't really understand the depths of it, but there's so much in it. So if we don't share that with our youth, if we don't guide them that way, if we don't get them to start thinking critically, then we are already behind. So if you don't do that now, do it today. Open up, talk about it. You know, listen, listen to our youth and what they're thinking and what they're feeling. Because, yes, it's about, sometimes it's about validating your own daughter's, uh, you know, struggles. It's about validating all of that. 
And if you can, and I'm sure daughters, if you, if moms just said, okay, baby, we, we, I understand, or I'm here to listen to you, I'm sure you'd open up a little bit more to your mamas as well. So, inshallah, may Allah make it easy. On that was really good. Thank you.